Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we have another installment of the Advanced Flow tutorial series. Uh, today's lesson is going to be on the helicopter. Alright guys, so the helicopter is a really fun move to do. Um, it's a little difficult at first, but once you get it, it's really easy. Like I said, hard to learn, easy to do. Um, it's a lot of fun, it looks cool. Um, this move I actually learned from one of the founders of Parkour, Chow Bell. Uh, one of the very, very top guys, one of the founders, the guys that started it. Um, and as soon as he taught me and I saw that it was possible, I, I just I fell in love with it. It's really cool, it's kind of weird, but it's really fun. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to break it down into a couple pieces for you so you, that you can take it step by step and learn it. Because uh, it's it, all at once, it looks kind of kind of kind of weird, kind of uh, scary. But once you break it down, it's really not hard. It's pretty easy. So um, yeah, here we go. Alright, so when you go to try this move for the first time, uh, make sure to find a, a nice low rail to, to work on, uh, something preferably about at your hip height or maybe even a little bit lower. If it's any higher than that, you're going to have to actually jump to get on the rail, which is going to make it a little more scary. Uh, this will help to kind of start where we can basically just kind of lay our hips on top nice and smooth and we're not actually having to jump and get on top. Um, so what we're going to do is break it down into three steps, okay? So the first step, we're just going to build the power into it. We're going to have, we're going to, we have to build enough power to be able to go all the way around smoothly and not stop or get hung up in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our arms, all the power is built up from the arms, and you want to swing flat. You want to swing along the rail. Don't swing over or down. So you're just going to throw your weight that way. We don't swing here because our, mom, our momentum is going to be going around this way. Okay, so arms come this way. You're standing kind of kind of perpendicular to the rail you can even stand a little bit inside sometimes uh, whatever is comfortable for you I usually stand just about just about perpendicular arms come around and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna act like we're gonna be jumping off of this one foot but we're just gonna come up bring this leg and we're gonna just lay it down right up here on top okay so that's the first step it's building the power and then getting this leg over okay so we're bringing our hips to the rail and just laying up on top all right so now we're gonna move to step two um, so from step one, we were just about here, okay, so we've built up our power, right here, we're coming up, legs on top, so step two, what we're going to do is we're just going to basically lay on top of the rail, we're going to come over, and that leg that you swung up on, that you came off at the beginning, that was here, that one goes immediately, immediately down to the ground, okay, so we're going to be rotating on that, so from here, leg down, you want to keep about at waist level, maybe a little bit up on your abs, laying down on the rail, okay? So it's up, over, this back leg comes over, swinging down, and you're going to switch feet as you come around, okay? So right here is step two. As soon as this other leg comes down, you're basically just rotating back and forth. The only way that you can keep your power all the way through the movement is to have those legs come down like this and back up. You try and keep them out and you're gonna kinda come off the rail. It's hard to stay attached. So it's gonna be like this. Down and up and over. I'll demonstrate one time just the full thing so you can see the motion. Okay, so down and up. So step one, step two. All right, so for step three, what we're gonna work on is basically um, exiting the rail. Exiting the rail on the same side that you hopped on from. Um, that can be the tricky part. A lot of times, uh, you'll get caught up. When I first started, this last part was what I what I had so much trouble on. Um, just because when you come around, it's hard to bring those legs up and over because you actually kind of have to jump off the rail. It's arching the back and the leg at the same time to bring your body up high enough that it clears the rail without you without clipping, you know, your knees, ankles, any of that kind of stuff. So after you've done these steps and you've combined them all. Um, and they feel pretty smooth when you do it slow and while your feet are touching the ground. What we're going to work up to is actually bringing the feet off the ground and powering all the way through the movement in one, one smooth motion where we don't touch the ground, all we're touching is the rail. Okay, so you really want to try and aim right here for the hips, the hips, maybe the abs. Um, I generally just kind of go somewhere about in between there. Off the hip bones, try and be more on the muscle. Um, like I said, the more power the better. I usually kind of guide where my hips are going to land with where my hands are, like that. I just kind of feel exactly where I want to put on it. And you want to give it just a small leap. Um, ideally, I try and get all the way over to about to about here, probably in the air. I don't, I, I don't, I don't like to get on and spin like that. Kind of crunches up all this stuff. I actually like to 
kind of hop on. All right, this has been the helicopter. Um, give it a try, take your time, uh, take it step by step. Doing it individually in steps where you break it down piece by piece is the easiest way, easiest way you're gonna learn. Um, get it down well. Once you get it, it's, it's really simple. It becomes pretty natural. It's just getting into each step and building the confidence. Uh, is That's the tough part. That's the tough part is building the confidence. But once you have it, it's easy. It'll look really cool. It's a lot of fun. So give it a shot. Good luck. Safe training.